Okay. Today we're going to do a book about Queen Elizabeth II. And you may have heard a lot about her lately. You might have heard your parents talking about her. You might have heard about her in the news or on TV somewhere. So I'm going to read you just a little story about her. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. Queen Elizabeth II, the world's longest reigning monarch. And a monarch is a king or a queen. It says, early years, Queen Elizabeth was born on April 21st, 1926. She was a princess then. Little did her family know that she would one day be Queen of Great Britain. Elizabeth's grandfather died in 1936. Her uncle was made king. But King Edward VIII did not want the crown. Her father took her father became king instead. He took the name King George VI. Elizabeth took on many responsibilities. During World War II, she hosted radio broadcasts. She comforted Britain's children with her words. She was only 14 years old. In 1947, Elizabeth married Philip Mountbatten. They would have four children together. King George VI died in 1952. This made Elizabeth the ruling monarch. Her coronation was on June 2nd, 1953. The young queen, Elizabeth had many duties. One was to meet with Winston Churchill each week. He was the prime minister. He updated her on political matters. Queen Elizabeth also traveled a great deal. She visited Britain's Commonwealth. February 6, 2017, marked 65 years as queen, and they called that the Sapphire Jubilee. Elizabeth had a quiet day. She spent it thinking of her late father. Elizabeth is known for her strength and grace. She is loved by her people and family. She is respected around the world. So Queen Elizabeth II went on to reign for 70 years on the throne, which is a very long time. And that was called her Platinum Jubilee. And she just passed away recently after uh, 70 long years on the throne. So now we are celebrating her life and we are talking about her a lot this week. So some of the different words that we might have learned is they talked about her coronation, and that was a ceremony where a king or queen is officially crowned. And we talked about the word monarch, which like I said, is a ruler, like a king, a queen, or an emperor. We talked about a prime minister, and that's the chief minister or head of a government with a parliament. And we talked about the Commonwealth, which is a group of, grouping of 52 member states that are mostly former territories of the British Empire and are led by the English monarch. And we talked about responsibility. And I bet some of you already know what that word means. It means a duty or a task that you should do because it's right or required. So we learned a lot of different words today and we learned a lot of interesting things about the Queen. And maybe you can listen a little bit over the next few days and maybe you can learn even more interesting things. All right. I hope you have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.